Hey guys, Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com and we have a Montezuma Triangle Toolbox here. This is cool, a little yeah. bit innovative. People are probably thinking triangle. Right. What do you mean triangle? Well, check this out. This is a 36 by 17 toolbox. It's model number XL450B and this is set up to organize your life, especially if you're mobile. Yeah, now, everything is at it's all right there. You're not searching or opening drawers and it's all right there. We've set this up a little bit to be a little more shop user friendly, but we're still trying to learn this. It's set up to be used for metric and SAE tools. You're trying to set all your sockets up so that you're, you know where everything's at. It takes us a little bit longer to figure out a new toolbox. So we're going at this slow. The one thing that I think this toolbox is missing is a light. I think all toolboxes are missing lights. And that's probably true, but that probably helps you guys see inside a little bit more. Uh, loading this toolbox up was an absolute blast. I mean, if you like organization, just sitting there and putting things in and figuring out where they go and seeing what you, know, you could do with a bunch of different pegs, that's cool. <laughs> Like the screwdriver, or I mean the wrenches, the screwdrivers, that stuff was pretty easy. We're still, like you said, having a little bit of trouble organizing our sockets. Where they got to go, what's going to work best, so you know where they're at. But it's all there for you. So the, there's a few things that come out and stand out with this. First, you have a, a bunch of places to put things, but also another place to store stuff. And then beyond that, underneath, you can fit like anything else, if it's impact wrenches or anything larger or stuff that doesn't fit inside the socket storage. Now with that said, the one thing that we can't fit in there for shop sake is going to be like Torx bits and other types of bits because they'll sit in here and then they would hit the top. And the reason being is this is meant to close the top. It's a weather tight seal. If you were to put this on a service truck and drive somewhere, everything will stay. It's good. Yeah. You're not going to be, when you get to the job, you're not going to be searching for everything falling in the bottom. That service truck life for this would be amazing. That is where I think this thing would really shine. You know, when you drive 100 miles down the road and you go to look for that one socket, it'd be like finding the 10 millimeter in the shop. Like I said earlier, I did it for 20 years and I was constantly rearranging my toolbox and it didn't matter. You get hundred miles down the road and you're still digging through things trying to find something. Where this, it's all right there. Weather tight, one latch, everything's there. And it's, it is lockable. It's made of 16 gauge steel, so it's powder coated. It's UV resistant. It's going to be as far as weather resistant. Like you said, this is built a lot better than a lot of those white boxes that you see that you're on the road. Um, basically it's meant for outdoor use and what is on the bottom is padded so if you put something around down there it's not going to slide around and while we push that this is great for a service truck i really think this is going to be good for any type of mechanic that might be rolling around a factory anyone who's really on a move and i think that it's going to keep everything organized especially across floors where you might be bouncing things around hey, especially they make them in various different sizes and they do make a roll around cart with what this three drawers in them yeah, so, me three to five. And that's something that we need here because this guy is just sitting on one of our carts. It doesn't exactly fit well. So that's our next step is to pick up a cart, put this on, continue our organization of more sockets that we have in here, figure out how all this works, and then integrate it into the shop just as a trial period to see how does this change our organization. Does it help, hurt? We'll find out. Yeah, it should be interesting. So uh, give us our comments or give us your comments on this. I'm overly interested in what you think about this type of organization in the shop, out of the shop. Have you ever used these before? They've been out for some time. What do you think about them? Very interested in that. So leave us some comments below. Make sure you give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.